All right, man, we back. Goodfellas Sports TV and NBC Sports has reportedly turned down the trade request from ESPN. Uh, ESPN wanted to, I guess, do a trade for Al Michaels services, and their dream is to place Al Michaels and Peyton Manning in the Monday Night Football uh, booth for NFL Monday Night Football. Let's talk about it. We back. It's Goodfellas Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. I appreciate the love support. And, um, yeah, it was all a dream. But NBC declined it. Uh, now they're trading, you know, commentators. It's been going on for a while. Al Michaels had been traded back in the day, according to the uh, New York Post. And I linked that article in the description. And they're still working on a deal to get Peyton Manning. But Al Michaels has two more years on his contract with NBC. Uh, but right now, NBC is not looking to trade Al Michaels. Now, that could change. Uh, ESPN could sweeten the pot. Um, they can do some more negotiating, but that can change. All right, they just not doing it right now. But they want to put Al Michaels and Peyton Manning in the booth, and apparently NBC has a contingency plan. Anyway, you know they waiting on Al Michaels to get out of there so they can put Mike Tirico in there with Collinsworth or whoever they choose to. You know, put it, if they want to change out Collinsworth, but it's getting crazy because you know Peyton Manning is in a you know, negotiations to get a twenty eighteen to twenty million dollar deal, you know, from ESPN to do Monday night football. And that's more than a majority of the players are getting. You know what I'm saying? Nine that's that's, you know, more than, you know, nine quarterback money. A lot of guys is getting in the NFL and they didn't it just to call the game. So if the networks got twenty million to throw around to the commentators and Tony Romo, he probably ain't never made this much in his career. If CBS retains the rights to show the NFL and renews their contract, he got a 10-year, what is it, $180 million contract. Now, ESPN offered him a 10-year, $140 million contract. And now, you know, you know, CBS, you know, trumped it. They matched it and, and went way beyond it. So he making more money than he made in his playing days, you know, off any one contract, not all together. And he ain't got to worry about, you know, uh, guaranteed money. You know, he ain't got to worry about non-guaranteed money probably. That's his bread just to sit in the booth and call games for, you know, 16 weeks plus the playoffs. So, in the Super Bowl, if you're lucky. So, you know, pay man like, I don't want to coach. You know, I've been preparing my whole life. Don't want to be a GM or don't want to be a general, I mean, be a, uh, you know, an offensive coordinator. You know, I can go in the booth and get more money that most coordinators and most general managers and coaches is getting. So, you know, with Al Michaels and Peyton Manning be a good fit, um, I'm down for it. You know, I think most people think anything better than Joe Tessitore and Booker McFarlane, which I don't really watch Monday Night Football as much as I used to because, you know, they don't really put the best matchups on there no more. It used to be, but it's harder to predict. And I think they might go with a flex system, I read. But um, right now, NBC said no, and people saying what, what would happen to Joe Testator and Booker McFarland. Um, Booker McFarland probably could still go back on the field, but they probably most likely want to get rid of them. There's been a lot of complaints about Booker McFarland and some of the stuff he said. He became a meme um, at a lot at a point in this season, so they looking to upgrade the 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 fan experience without Michaels, but. You know, Al Michaels got two years left, but I heard they will proceed with trying to get Peyton Manning on there with or without Al Michaels for right now. And I mean, probably Booker McFarlane will be the odd man out. He might, you know, do the television circuit with ESPN and do some other things. So ESPN got a lot of different jobs where Booker McFarlane can fit in and still get the bag. But I don't know if he'll get the experience of, you know, you know, going city to city and, you know, you know, and doing the Monday night thing, that's a syndicated broadcast. I mean, everywhere, you know, who want to lose that job? You know what I'm saying? But you talking about you could put Peyton Manning in the booth. Everybody loved Peyton Manning in the National Football League. And Al Michaels is pretty much got that Howard Corsell type of voice. So, I mean, ESPN throwing money around, but the players, you know, I think this is not a good time to do it. I think they should have started announcing this after the CBA is done. You know, some of this should be continued to be confidential. They shouldn't leak anything out because now the players looking at the money that the commentators getting. And a lot of commentators getting more money than the players getting in guarantee money and shit, whole contract money. So now it's going to make it difficult for them to get a new CBA done because, you know, the commentators got better deals now. And now they, they even pub, now it's publicly coming out. They're getting traded, which 
that's already happened before, according to the article I link in the description. But you know, Joe Tessitore do boxing. You know, he don't really need Monday Night Football. He can do other things, and you know, I think he's solid. But you know, just him and Booger McFarland and Jason Witten was a complete failure in the booth. You know, people thought he was gonna be like Tony Romo, his fake hair, like uh. You know, it's just time to move on from him. But, hey, we'll see, you know, how this fits out. But, once again, with or without Peyton Manning, they will move forward. I mean, with or without Al Michaels, they will move forward with Peyton Manning. So, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll link the article in the description. Her Peyton may get anywhere from 18 to $20 million a year uh, with this job. Don't forget to check out our uh, current news playlist for more videos like this. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got a business question, quality, sponsorship, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out, PayPal in the description. Yes, I used to have an old Goodfellas Sports TV page. It was hacked. And I'll uh, you know, link an article, link a video in the description to show you how to get it back.